Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Process control, modes of process control. In this video course, you will learn the modes of process control, which includes on-off control, proportional control, proportional integral control, proportional derivative control, and proportional integral derivative control, PID. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce more knowledgeable video content for you. So please subscribe now before you forget. This course will be presented in two part series. In part one, we will discuss on off control and proportional control. In the part two, we will discuss proportional integral, proportional derivative, proportional integral and derivative control. This video is on part one on off control and proportional control. In our first video on introduction to process control, we discussed three elements of process control. The element that makes changes and maintains a measured process or control variable at its set point is a final control element or the control valve. But which element changes the position of the final control element? It is the controller. Let us consider the three elements of process control for the pressure control of a distillation column in this figure. The three elements are sensor, controller and the pressure control valve. The stability of the process is determined by the controller, particularly how it responds to the disturbances or deviation of process variables. The controller response in turn depends on what control algorithm it uses. It is known as the modes of process control. Control algorithms are at the heart of any control system to provide fast and accurate response to disturbances or process load changes. Many process controllers use some form of control mode to control the process. These control algorithms essentially work to lessen the overshoot or undershoot of errors on control loops. Feedback control is the most widely used of process control in the process plans. The most commonly used feedback control algorithms fall into two categories. On-off control algorithm, PAD control algorithm. The PAD algorithm include proportional mode, proportional integral that is PA mode, proportional derivative that is PD mode and proportional integral and derivative PAD mode. Depending on the system to be controlled, one can select one or the other type of control mode. On-off control. On-off control mode is the simplest mode of control. In this mode of control, the control output OP is either 0 or 100 percent and no middle state. Accordingly, the final control element has only two positions, full or 100 percent open that is on or full or 100 percent close that is off. This figure illustrates the principle of hollow control. Water is flowing into the tank through a control valve as shown. The water exits the tank at the bottom and is distributed to different consumers. 
the tank level is set at 50%. If the level drops below 50%, the on-off valve will open all the way to 100% on position. This will admit water to the tank faster than that is required to keep the level at 50%. As a result, the level will rise above 50%. When it does, the on-off valve will close all the way to 0% and stop the flow to the tank. With no water flow to the tank, the tank level will drop and the controller will open the valve and the cycle will be repeated. The cycling is a feature of the on-off mode. The cycling feature is shown on the left of the tank with the animation. PID algorithm proportional mode Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your Spec eLearn channel is a one-stop learning and skill development channel for your career. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button right now. The on-off control is cyclic in nature because the control valve is either full open or full closed. That means flow to the tank is either 100% or zero. How can we maintain some steady flow to the tank? For certain rate of flow exiting the tank, there should be equal amount of flow that should be admitted to the tank. Once this flow is established, let any error that develops cause an increase or decrease in flow to the tank. This establishes the concept of proportional control. The corrective action or the controller response is proportional to the amount of deviation between the process variable and the set point called the error E. The RNF control valve will not be able to perform the function of proportional control action. You need a control valve that can be positioned at any degree of opening from fully closed to fully open. This is usually a pneumatic diaphragm valve or electric motor operated valve. Illustrated in this figure is a distillation column. We will focus on the reboiler loop to understand the proportional algorithm because this represents a typical control loop in a refinery or a petrochemical plant. The reboiler uses steam as a heating medium. The condensate flows to a condensate drum, which is under level control. A control valve at the bottom of the condensate drum removes a condensate through a level control valve. The proportional control action is expressed by the relationship mv equal to kce plus i where mv is a manipulated variable, kc the controller gain which is adjustable, e is the error, i is the initial value of the mv or the controller output or offset. In the above expression, mv is also equal to output. kc is the gain which is a measure of how sensitive the value change will be to a given error. Proportional control has limitations. If there are frequent load changes to the process, it will not be able to keep the process variable at the set point. This is because the control valve has only one valve position for each value of the process variable. If there are load changes like increase in steam pressure or the increase in distillation column feed rate such that more steam is needed than before to maintain the level, the controller cannot do it except through manual reset adjustment.
This figure shows the response of a proportional controller in response to a positive error with respect to time. When there is step change in error, for example, a positive error equal to x, then the controller will respond by changing the control output or mv in direct proportion to the error x. The value opening will correspond to kc times x. Assume that in the above expression, the error e is equal to 0, then mv becomes i, which is manual reset. This value is fed into the algorithm as initialization value. This means that when the error is 0, the PV is at set point and the control output is at i. It is the control output that maintains the value position such that it maintains the right amount of flow to keep the level at set point. It is called the manual reset. If there is a load change, such as an increase in steam pressure, the value of i will change. That is the reason why the proportional control cannot function when there are load changes. That means the proportional control can initiate corrective action to eliminate the error for only one load condition. When the process load is different from the above load, some error will persist. This error is called offset. This figure shows the response of the proportional controller for an error. The control action is to change the value position in proportion to the error. For example, if the level drops to 40% from the set point 50%, the value will move by a certain fixed percentage. Thus, there is one-to-one -one relationship between the error and the control output or the value position. The control output or MV varies from 0 to 100 percent when the error ranges between two values. This range of error is called proportional band PB. We can define the proportional band as OP equal to 100 by PB times error. A narrow proportional band gives a greater output change for any given error. Here we will see pictorially the narrow PB versus wide PB and its impact on valve opening change. Take a look at this figure of narrow proportional band versus wall position. For the given PB, the valve opening is large. Now take a look at this figure where the wide PB versus wall position change is shown. In this case, for the same proportional band, the valve opening is small. When the proportional band is zero, the proportional controller becomes on-off control. This figure shows the effect of a small and large proportional band on level control in a proportional mode of control. When the PB is small, you can see the cycling process. Also observe the existence of offset, which is a steady state error in proportional control. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of 
carry over into professional students. Thank you for watching.